Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophynet, the babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Bioshock Infinite. We're still on our way to Monument Island, and as we can see, the ticket booth, well, the station is filled with heavily armed guards. But uh, for the very first time, we can actually do something with our money. So uh, let's go for possession. I don't know if it's worth it, actually. Let's actually do that. Yeah, because there's a few soda pops here. So let's possess both machines and fill up again so we have a bit of uh, salts to work with. And if I swap possession back for Devil's Kiss, we're gonna be combat ready. So there's two boosts we can actually buy. We don't have enough money to buy either of them yet, which is interesting because we get a lot of money to start uh, because of the DLC bonuses. But Crow's Trap 8 causes the corpses of murder of crows victims to become crow trapped. And Devil's Kiss Aid is adds mini clusters for greater area of effect range and damage, which is a very interesting one, but we can't buy that just yet. And I don't think this one gives us anything extra. I'm just gonna pick up the money though. Don't wanna forget about that. And that's about it. And now we have another uh, kinetoscope to give us a bit more information. Uh, and I don't think, yeah. Uncanny Mystery in Colombia. Oh, there they are. Keep him pinned, but uh, they're all going through uh, kind of a choke point here. Just gonna reload. After him. Hey, it's and the violin is playing. God damn it. Is that can? There we go. And then reload. I think that's pretty much most of them. Sounds like there's still one more left. So that's 20 kills already, because yeah, they're they're yeah they're building that up rather quickly. There we go. I hate that the reload button is the same thing as picking up a, an item. There we go, and then that one. There we go, take care of Whew. Okay, more salts, I can always use more salts. And now just let's check out that kinetoscope, because that's what I wanted to do originally. Hello, hello. Uncanny Mystery in Colombia. So that, yeah, that's the title. Thank you. Thank you, Kinetoscope. Look at that. What is that? Columbia marvels and fears at unfamiliar sights. What are those shiny thingies? What is it? Nobody knows. What are these astonishments which appear and disappear? Columbia's greatest mind isn't saying. So that was Lutes. So she might have something to do with a strange occurrence in Colombia. There's strange glowy thingies around Colombia. We haven't seen any of those ourselves yet, but we might pretty soon, because usually when they uh, introduce those things, we uh, might see them in a minute. So let's, can we pick up the, did we pick up the ammo automatically? I think we do. So let's close all that. I don't think there's anything else around here to decide, because this is usually, this is just a combat area, so we, get a few things from the corpses of everybody but that's about it now the ticket boots those are a bit more interesting because yeah we're full on ammo but not all machine gun ammo so if we can find anything to fill up our machine gun ammo that would be nice there we go silver eagles an open safe but there's nothing in there anymore must have been looted by somebody else that's pretty much it i think i think it is so let's move towards the exit here what does this one say the tower protects the lab we've seen that a few times already let's open up the door and there we have vinny vidi vigor and dollar bills let's check this out still the same thing but i might as well use possession to get ourselves a bit of money there's a bit of uh, ten dollars in total which isn't that much of course but uh right to the gondola closed by order of the prophet so we can't go using the normal way uh but now that we have a sky hook we can actually travel along these skylines which look incredibly cool look at that so the gondola is closed so this is the gondola we're sorry to say that monument island is off limits 
You've got to go. Workmen should proceed to the island by means of the skyline. There we go, skyline, workmen. Huh? Those things, them coffers came riding in on back by the lottery. So there we go, Booker notices that as well. That the workers use the skylines to get there, because I'm supposing the workers uh, don't really need the that safe passage over there. The so let's go. We can actually Whoa! slow down and uh, go faster along these skylines. Whoa! If we want to, but we don't necessarily need to. So let's attack this guy. There we go. And a headshot. Because this is a bit of a, a pit stop in between. I'm gonna pick up the money in between the beer here. And there we have another infusion. Uh, let's go for a bit more salt. There we go. Next up will be health, of course. But for now, let's go for salt. Uh, I don't think there's anything else here aside from that infusion. Because it's it's a bit of a hidden area, but that's not yeah, it's not bad hidden, of course. Let's go up, up, and away through the upper area here. We're gonna attack that one over there. There we go. I think there's a few... No? Is that the only one? So let's uh, clear the skylines. Let's remove the containers, because we couldn't move further, because there's a container in the way. Um, let's take a look around. Yeah, there we go. Another voxophone from uh, Comstock himself. And the Lord saw the wickedness of man was great. And he repented he had made man on the earth. Rain! Forty days and forty nights of the stuff. And he left not a thing that walked alive. You see, my friends, even God is entitled to a do-over. And what is Columbia if not another ark? For another time. What if Colum what is Columbia if not an ark for another time? Another ark for another time. I'm not really sure if we need to go this way or the other way. I think it's the other way around. So let's reverse. We can actually do that on the Skylands. We have quite a bit of control over it. So we went in through this way and now we need to go down again. Towards Monument Island over there. There we go. This is so cool. I mean, what an incredible idea to do it like this. Let Skylands like this guy. And we can actually go over here. Start busting down some doors. And there we go. Is there, net? Is there another one? The skyline up above. There we go. Elevation. That's about it. Okay, so there's uh, more stuff going on. Is this this game is very vertical because of the skylines and the hooks and everything. So we can go, uh, well, pretty, pretty far if we want to. So I'm gonna take a second to loot everything here and then we'll enter that building. So there we go, looted pretty much everything and then we need to go in here across the balcony where these guys co were coming in from. So as you can see, some of these places look like they've been, well, attacked already. Not because of us, but because of something else that was going on. So this place looks pretty raided. There's a lot of money behind this uh, cabinet. And then, of course, another piece of gear. Scavenger vest. Enemies provide ammo upon death 40% of the time. Against ammo advantage. I'm just going to take it and not equip it. Because uh, we I do like the extra ammo in the clips that we have at the moment. So let's go a bit further. There we go. Stay calm and always aim for the head, even with normal people. If you can call these guys normal people, let's pick up a giant wallet. For some reason, that was a giant wallet. And then let's go outside and get back on the skyline. Because there's nothing else on the other side. It was just uh, blocked for us for some reason. And then let's go further on. Seems like they're already fighting at the boards there. Stand down. Stand down. And then the voice, the voice of Comstock, tells these men to stop firing and stand down. So they're not attacking at the moment. Father Washington, hear my prayer. 
If you want to, you can actually kill these guys, but I'm not going to do that because yeah, they rarely spawn any money. So I'm just going to take a look around here, just in case I missed anything. So let's head into this building, because apparently Comstock wants us to enter this building. And there we have a lovely, lovely television screen. But it's not just not just a television screen, as you'll see in a second. Uh, I don't think there's anything else here. No, this is just uh, a set piece. I see every sin that blackens your soul. Wounded knee. The Pinkertons. The drink. The gambler. And of course... Anna. And now, to repay a debt, you've come from my land. But not all debts can be repaid, Booker. You don't know me, pal. Prophecy is my business, Mr. DeWitt. As blood is yours. You know why these men will die for me? Because I have seen their future in the glory. And hence they are content. What brought you to Columbia, Booker? Booker. Bring us the girl and wipe away the debt? This will end in blood, Dwight. Then again, it always does with you, doesn't it? It always ends in blood, Dwight. <sighs> And there we have, yeah, something's You've going on with our head. And we are, there's blood coming from our nose. So that's a skyship, a zeppelin if you want to. And uh, it seems like the Prophet really knows um, everything about us. He knows about the death, he knows about uh, Wounded Knee, he knows about the Pinkertons, the gambling and the drinking, he knows everything. And then this ship flies into the building. So, we can attach to the hook over there, and now we can uh, try to kill this guy. Oh! So now we're on his uh, ship himself, so let's see if we can't find Mr. Comstock on his own ship. Wow, well, I'm a great shot, aren't I? Um goodbye. I didn't really like that now, did I? Find the controls to take this thing to Monument Island. So now we want to take this ship to Monument Island, which should be the easy route, right? Now that we have an airship at our disposal. Let's just yeah, we can actually just use this to go to Monument Island. So let's go into the cockpit and take a look around here. So there's um a nun here. Um and I don't think you can actually shoot her if I'm... No. There we go. So there's uh, th That's strange, because okay. usually everybody else... I'm not going to hurt you, he says after he shot her in the face. Um, but usually you can actually kill every sit civilian down. you come across. And everything will be fine. So sit down and everything will be fine. So that sounds, that's, that sounds like a, a good booker now, doesn't it? So here we see coordinates, and we can actually set that up with this... Uh, Okay. This setup sure can get this thing going. The Lord forgives everything, but I'm just a prophet, so I don't have to. Amen. 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 Oh Jesus. my God! So that nun just burned herself alive for uh, her prophet. Yep, there we go. And let's grab the skyline on the way down. Look at that. It's going down. That airship is going down. Look at that. As if you're not fast enough, I think... Does it break the skyline? No, it doesn't. Okay. I wasn't really sure if it did. Goodbye. Goodbye, Miss Nun. Sorry you had to kill yourself for my for me for my sake. For me sake. Yeah. My English is great at the moment. But we're where we're starting to get close to where we need to be. Monument Island, over here. Um do we Yeah, we're gonna use possession to uh get some more money out of this thing. There we go. Money, money, money. Now we can actually check out. Do we buy this already? I don't think we're gonna buy this already. I have a lot of money. I want to keep it that way. 
to swap back to Devil's Kiss. Not that I'm using those a lot, but is there anything else here? I don't think there is. Nah. Just gonna assume there's nothing there. So now, let's head into Monument Island. After that, I raid the trash can. Let's go to Monument Island. Oh, there it is. Monument Island. Indeed, there it is. But it has been closed and off limits for quite some time, it seems. Because, well. Got locked up in this place. Yeah. So it seems like a strange place to just lock up a little girl. Well, a, maybe a young woman is maybe correctly. I think Elizabeth is 18 at this point. Pretty much. So let's take a look around. Uh, yeah, we've seen that already. Drown the flames of man. The seed of the prophet. Well, let's go have a little chat with the seed of the prophet. And there we have the same statue. So this is a statue inside of a statue. Seems like a little bit of overkill. A blue dress. And a bit of money. There's a weird... Well, why would they need gas masks over here? So let's pick up the Voxophone. Let's play Ty Bradley's Law. I guess even in a restricted area, these crackers need someone to clean the floors. <laughs> Those politicians and scientists don't bother about what they say around me. Because I'm some half-leaded colored boy. But I can tell they scared out of their wits by that thing they got locked upstairs. Yes, sir. They got a tiger by the tail. And they don't know whether to hang on or run. So Ty uh, works in this place as the concierge. So the, the handyman, so to speak. And he, well, he hears things because they don't really mind what they say around him. And they're clearly, the scientists here are clearly afraid of whoever or whatever they're keeping here. So specimen morphology from uh, 1, 5, 11 and 17 looks like a normal woman, now, doesn't it? So uh, anything else we can check here? Fox Populi Crime Board. Doesn't seem like anything interesting. Let's drink up some coffee to fill up our salts. Almost said Eve, almost said Eve. they salts, they salts. So yeah, they're really studying um, Elizabeth around here. Do not speak to the specimen. Past this point, 72 hour quarantine, Chief Scientist Lutes uh, will need to give you approval if you come around here. So yeah, that's a big, a big sacrifice. So you lose three days if you come in here. So uh, Siphon is passive at the moment. But we can uh, try to transpose objects here. Please do. So H4, the companion. And the teddy bear turns from blue to red, which is weird. Huh. And then H11, the poetry book. And that also just changes the color. And then H13, Manarchy. And then that was, it looked like a cloth with blood on it. And the blood disappeared when we transposed it, whatever that was. So yeah, and there's talk of a siphon. The siphon is passive at the moment. Doesn't seem to harm us all that much. But there's uh, weird things going on around here. Let's go a bit further. Then we have a bit of uh, a few side areas. So let's go to... Um, we're gonna have to go through that door last, I think. Because we can't go in here. But this is interesting. So a red room, a dark room. Where they're developing pictures of Elizabeth herself. Let's shut off the radio, because I don't want to have too much uh, music in my playthrough, because that uh, puts me open for copyright her. strikes. Yeah, they have been watching her, taking pictures. But that's the least of it. That is the least of our problems. And now we have a, yeah, a bit of a movie. Let's, I think we can actually use that. Let's take a look. Lockpick attempt number 132. So that's her in front of a giant gate trying to lockpick the gate. And clearly failing. And then specimen investigating codes. She's trying to decipher stuff. Looks like she tr she loves to do that as well. Because they've clearly been watching her, obviously. Then we have specimen painting. So we know she, uh, she tried her hand at lockpicking. She knows how to crack codes. And she likes painting. Specimen singing. Yeah, we don't really hear that. And then dancing. So, not that weird for a woman of her age. So, singing, dancing, painting. Well, aside from the code cracking, of course. 
And that's pretty much it. So that's the entire movie. Um, do I need to go through here? I think I do. But is there something over here? So specimen is dangerous. A failure to follow quarantine protocol may lead to severe injury or death. Death. So yeah, there's another... Yeah, this doesn't look so good. It kind of looks like this, the chair we had to sit in at the, the beginning of the game. Yeah, that's a good question, Booker. Um, but there is another voxophone in here, which might shed some light. So again, it's the same uh, handyman. Well, Mr. Thompson, sir, I, I replaced the entire fuse banker's ass. And the lights were all in working order last night. Last night? There they go again. We go through boxes of fuses every day as of late. They're just in the siphon alone. I don't... Oh! oh something's happening! What? Oh, ah! So something went wrong. We can hear the electricity acting up. And uh, something went wrong that probably uh, cost Mr. Bradley his life. This chair is uh, peculiar. So it looks like they were performing some experiments on her in this area. But uh, yeah, we can't really know anything else. So caution to prevent risk of exposure only operate in rooms after soporific has been applied. So soporific? has been applied. I don't know what that is. I might be stupid, but I don't know what that is. So let's go back out and go uh, through this door onto the next area. So this looks more and more like a siphon. Facility unsafe, because yeah, if we listen, we almost could hear her singing. Siphon was installed at age 14. There we go, we can hear her singing once every while. Let's pick up another voxophone from Comstock. It is one thing to imagine one's future, and another to see it. I have seen the seeds of fire that will prepare the Sodom below for the coming of the Lord. But Elizabeth shall sow those seeds, not I. I will fall before the job is done. But she shall take up my mantle. The Lord is calling me home. I feel his love in every tumor. Because they are the train which takes me to his station. And I go with joy, knowing that Elizabeth will take my earthly place. But the false shepherd is coming to lead my lamb astray. I will not board that train until she is safe from his deceptions. So Comstock is dying. He has several tumors, he says. And he, uh, he knows that Elizabeth is supposed to take over his mantle. And she is supposed to take over the world. And that's what the seed of the prophet shall uh, sit the throne and drown the... and flame the mountains of men. I think it's like that. And this looks interesting. So these... This machine is a siphon, it's called a siphon, so it's draining something from energy. And since we can hear Elizabeth singing a very familiar song as well, if you know the song. Everybody wants to rule the world, which is very fitting of course. But again, not really, really fitting in the time era though. So we hear Elizabeth singing and it's her that is being leached as the sign say siphon is dangerous while leaching specimen so they're draining her of her energy but what kind of energy is that do not touch the specimen under any circumstances past this point 168 hour quarantine which is by my calculations seven days when you need the approval of the prophet to go in here and you you lose a complete week of time if you want to go in here because you need to be decontaminated. What is going on here? Because Elizabeth doesn't seem like a normal girl anymore. Now does she? Another elevator right up. And I think we're getting close to the answers. Specimen is present. Specimen is present. So let's, let's not wait too, too much longer and pull the lever. And there we have her code cracking board we could see before and a few looks that she has been attempting to pick and it looks like she's actually uh, successful on these looks 
Uh, and then we have, yeah, her musical instruments. So we know she likes singing and dancing and music in general. Activate specimen tracker. Dressing She's in the dressing room. room. That's where we need to go. Okay. Swapping doors. And we're, uh, well, we're pretty high up in the statue right now. And we can hear her singing. Door must remain closed at all times. And let's see. Quiet while specimen is present. It is highlighted this time. So let's, uh, let's take the coffee and pull the lever. And there we have Elizabeth. It's her. And she clearly cannot see us. Because uh, this is a mirror. And look at that, she appears to be missing a finger. Interesting, isn't it? And uh, for her this is a mirror, so this is a one-way mirror. And uh, it looks like she's dreaming of going to Paris. Because there's the Eiffel Tower everywhere. So let's uh, continue on. Where is she now? Dining room. Okay, let's head towards the dining room. Let's see if we can't uh, draw her attention from there. Hello! Ding dong! Let's open this up. There she is again. Next to her painting. And she has a lot of drawings of uh, her protector as well, of Songbird. What is she doing? There we go. Whoa! What? Everybody wants to. So there we go. Elizabeth can open portals. It's got nothing to do with the job at hand. And not just portals to other places. Remember what we know already about this place? We're 19 we're 1912. And if you notice that, there was a, a cinema over there, a, a, a movie theater. And there was a well the title of the Revenge of the Jedi, which is the French for uh well, the, the last Star Wars movie. Um, and that's a lot later than 1912. So her portals open up not only through space, but also through time. So she can open up portals through time and space, this job's which is her time. power. And that's also explaining the uh, special, the special uh, occurrences we've been seeing along, uh, well, the people have been seeing along Colombia. Let's listen to the voxophone first by Rosalind Lutess. What makes the girl different? I suspect it has less to do with what she is, and rather more with what she is not. A small part of her remains from where she came. It would seem the universe does not like its peas mixed with its porridge. A small part of her remains of where she came. And that's why she is special. Can we pull the lever? Yeah, there we go. She has quite a bit of space, and a huge library, it seems. Um, and there she is, pondering, pondering the way out. And she can't really leave, um, because she's stuck here in the tower. Let's continue on. And look for a way in, because that's, that's pretty much the problem we have at the moment. Because we can't see her, but there's not really a way inside. And now, who? I can do this. Prepare your vertigo, because we're right next to the face of that uh, that statue of Monument Island. So let's open up the door. We don't really need to do that, because that's going opening up automatically. And go through here, I think. Yeah, there we go. Hello? Hmm. This is a weird... I've always found this a weird area, so we need to cross here. But, yeah. It breaks off immediately. Those were solid metal chains. Uh, hello. Hello. Giant screaming. Ow. Hey, knock it off! Stop Ow. It. Will you stop it? I'm not here to hurt you. Who are you? My name is Dewitt. I'm a friend. I come to get you out get of here. Get away! Stop it! Don't hit us. Are you real? Yes, I'm real. There we have the finger close up again. He's coming. You, you've got to go. Why? You don't want to be here when he gets here. Just a minute, I'm getting dressed. Get you out of here. There's 
no way out. Trust me, I've looked. Stop it! You're you're too impatient. That's enough. What about this? What about it? This is the way. And out, there we have the key it? we had in the box. Give it to me. But there's something coming. And there's a key. I actually have that key. I have a physical copy of that key because it was uh, together with the uh, Bioshock Infinite art book, I think. What is going on? So there's something coming. It's a way out. And indeed, it is a way out. Can I go out as well? Escape the statue with Elizabeth. Okay. Oh shit. Here. The we'll songbirds. Well, yeah, we'll see about that indeed. Looks like she's pretty trusting here? at the moment. Uh oh, there's openings coming into the statue. And Booker, you need to answer her questions, man. She asked you who you are. So it's uh, strong enough to pull openings into solid steel. So yeah, the songbird is one badass motherfucker. Call the elevator. What the hell is that thing? Press the button. So she doesn't know what an elevator is because she hasn't seen a lot of things what just yet. Like they were watching me all this time. Why? Why did they put me in here? What am I? What am I? You're the girl who's getting out of this tower. Yeah, that's an answer. Hi. So, we could fire, but that doesn't really gonna help. Because the elevator's gonna save us. See you later, songbirds. Here we go. This way. Going down one extra floor for some reason. We have to keep moving. Yeah, we do. Careful, Elizabeth. How do you know my name? Not now. Hurry! And we're pretty high up, so we don't want to co come there. crashing down. Out of the way, let me try. Here we go. Opening up. Which way? Up. Don't know what Booker's plan here is, because he keeps saying up, but that's not going to help as much, is it? There it is! So Songbird is a huge mechanical flying monster whose sole purpose it is to protect Elizabeth. And there goes the statue. Yep. Onto the railing. And this is so freaking awesome. So I'm pushing forward so we're going faster, but although I don't think it actually helps in this uh, in this chase scene. And look at the statue falling down. And when it's going down, it's of course breaking a lot of stuff, so the bridge we're on at the moment is falling down. And sadly, that's also where the skyline was attached to. So we're actually losing losing skyline here oh god going down going down ow hello songbirds and there's something going on so yeah his eye is breaking because songbirds well, weakness is that he can't deal with the pressure underwater. Because, of course, he's uh, used to being high up. Mr. DeWitt. Mr. DeWitt. And now we're back in here. In the DeWitt's office. Hello, Elizabeth. So I think her outfit is slightly different in here, if I'm not mistaken, or not. I'm actually hesitating. Tell me what you want with her. Open this door. This is actually uh, singing the circle her? being Tell broken me what again. You want. Uh, let's open up the door again. Anna. Anna. <laughs> and now we hear a lot of nice music. 
Looks like Elizabeth saved our ass. Anna. No, it's me. Elizabeth. Are you all right? Where am I? Back in the land of the living. Here, let me. I'll be fine. You almost drowned. I said I'm fine. Just, just give me a minute. Be nice to the girl. Do you hear that? Yeah, I've been hearing that constantly it's already. Music. Indeed, it is. Oh, okay, I, I won't be long. I won't be long, Mr. Dewitt. She won't be long. And then we pulse out again. As well, we fell from a very, very big height and then, uh, well, fell into the water. And now this is interesting. So, welcome to Colombia Zone Bay. Um, as you can see, we're still in Colombia, but we fell into something that looks like the sea. And as you can see, the sea, oh my god, the sea has an edge which drops off. So we didn't crash into the sea, but just just a tiny bit lower into the bay here. So they made a, a completely artificial beach. Um, there's a lot of money lying around here as well, and they, these kids don't seem to mind. And uh, yeah, but before we start uh, exploring hey, hey. this uh, entire what bay... A young girl wearing a white blouse, brown hair, blue eyes. Uh, hello? I was talking to you, buddy. So before we go any further, I'm gonna take a little break. So uh, thank you guys and obviously for watching. When we return, we're gonna try and find Elizabeth again, because we lost her. Um, and yeah, if you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And uh, I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.